Hey everybody, uh, I bought a diesel heater, a Chinese made diesel heater off Amazon. I want to try to see, I want to try to see if I can heat this 11 by 18 garage at least warm enough that I can work on the Jeep, uh, maybe make a few videos this winter and uh, for the price tag of $165 it seemed worth worth trying so I uh, got it yesterday I uh, got delivered and I also bought some uh, exhaust wrap uh, to kind of make sure we don't have any accidents and then I also got a uh, hull thimble so that I can use that to pass the exhaust outside so let me get this unboxed and we'll see what happens. All right, here's everything that was in the box. Looks like you got the duct hose, a louver or a vent for that hose. You got an air intake hose for the combustion chamber. You got an exhaust pipe for um, the combustion exhaust outside. And you've got a miscellaneous box of parts has a control panel on the front and then it has a remote which it looks like you can start and stop this thing remotely so looks like some assembly is required and uh, see what happens All right, I guess we're about halfway done putting this thing together. Um, I put some heat shield on the exhaust pipe just to um, keep from having any burns or whatever. Uh, I ran the combustion air intake out the back. Um, I put these uh, two by four runners on there just to keep it stable and to get it up off the ground so I got plenty of room for the exhaust. Um, this, this unit runs on 12 volt uh, DC power, so um, it's got the tails in the back. Uh, it looks like it's fused, and I just happen to have and I have a 15 amp. I have a 15 amp power supply that I hope is enough to power this.
Okay, I've got um, got it hooked up to power. It looks like that power supply is going to work. Um, I've just put some diesel fuel in it. I've got my exhaust hooked up. I've got my combustion air intake hooked up. Um, I've got my hot air duct hooked up. I don't have the louvers on, but that'll be fine for right now. And I think for right now, I'm going to just open up the garage door for our, uh, just an inch or two, stick the exhaust outside, and uh, see what happens. Fire it up, see what happens. Okay, here's my temporary setup. I just started the unit. Um, I put diesel fuel in it and it's going through a startup cycle it looks like. Um, I've got the exhaust running out the door. Got the hot air duct here. There's my 112 volt, 110 to 12 volt power supply and I've got about a half a tank of fuel. So we'll let that run through its startup process um, and get primed and we'll see what happens. As a baseline, the temperature in the garage right now is 50 degrees. Okay, it's been about three or four minutes and we're already getting some nice warm air out of this unit. And it actually blows out of here. Actually got quite a bit of force coming out of here. I don't have an infrared thermometer so I don't really know what the temperature of this hot air is but if it keeps up like this, this garage will be warm in no time. Do have a little smoke burning off down there. Um, I think that's uh, just because of the newness. That should go away. The fuel pump, everybody says, is loud, and I guess it's, it's a little bit loud. But I mean, you've got a combustion chamber, you've got the fan blowing, so overall, it's pretty. I don't know. Seems okay for me for like a garage type heater for what I'm going to use it for. You can see if you were to put it in your RV, it might be a problem. Now we've got... This is hot enough now where that's about as close as I can put my hand. So, so far, so good. Um, it's actually pretty warm, the, the air that's coming out of this thing. All right, it's been about an hour since I first fired up the diesel heater. Um, I ran it for about 30 minutes, um, put off some great heat, but uh, you know I had the door open uh, with the exhaust sticking out just to just to do the initial fire up. Um, so I shut it down and let it cool down, and I actually bought a bulkhead fitting for a boat when I bought the heater and that's what that looks like I just, I just drilled a hole in the wall put it through it screwed in from the outside it's got an air gap around it plus the thimble has uh, an air gap around it and then that's why uh, I did the uh, heat wrap on the exhaust as well so so anyway, it's been a few minutes. Um, I fired it up at uh, 316 and it was 52 degrees in here when I started. The garage is 13 wide by 21 long, front to back. So I've got an inside wall here, which uh, 
is the house, which is insulated. I've got the outside wall of the garage over here, which is partially insulated. The ceiling is not insulated, and the door is kind of a, it's an insulated door, but not a really good insulated door. The back wall, um, not insulated. There's a door here that leads to what we call the tool room, which is really just a place to throw junk uh, and tools that we don't really have a place for at the moment. Uh, this is not insulated at all. So I'm going to try it uh, right now. I'm going to try it with this door open. Uh, it should be able to raise the temperature in here uh, without much effort today because it is 51. It's like 50 degrees outside right now. Um, and yeah, it's, so we haven't had a temperature change yet. But. So this thing's putting out some pretty good heat. Um, I got it probably on medium setting right now and uh, we'll check back in about a half an hour and we'll see where the uh, where the temperature is. I'm hoping it'll be up a few degrees. All right, it's been 35 minutes and the temperature in the garage right now is right about at 60 degrees. So I think this is going to work out for me. I think this heater is going to do exactly what I need it to do, which is just take the chill off this garage. Um, I'm hoping to pull the Jeep in here this winter and get a few projects out of the way that uh, I've been putting off. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so far, so good. It's only been a day. It's supposed to be about 20 degrees colder tomorrow, so I'll give it another try. It didn't have much trouble going 10 degrees at 50 degrees outside temperature. <clears throat> so... I think it's going to work out just great, but time will tell, and uh, I think if you need a heater for a small space, this might be a good option for you. Okay, it's the next morning. Uh, yesterday I installed the, kind of installed, the temporary permanent install of the diesel heater in the garage. It's uh, 8.30 the next morning, and the temperature in the garage is 40 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and Fire up this diesel heater. I'm going to set the temperature. It's not really a temperature setting, but it goes from goes from 1.7 hertz up to 5.4. Kind of a weird uh, measurement there, but. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I'm going to go somewhere in the middle here. Let me set it at, uh, let's go for something 2.7. So we got it set at 2.7. The unit just kicked on. It takes a couple minutes for it to fire. Um, so we got cold air blowing out of here now. It'll take a few minutes for it to get going, and uh, I'm going to run it on that setting for one hour, and then we'll come back out and see uh, if we're able to raise the temperature in the garage. Um, I'm going to leave that door open, and uh, we'll see what happens. So I'll be back in an hour. All right, it's been one hour. Uh, the heater's been on medium, and the temperature has gone up to, let's call it 46 degrees. So we got a six degree temperature change in a non, pretty much a non-heated garage with a setting on medium. coming out of here is pretty hot 
Um, I can only hold my hand there for a few seconds before it starts to get really hot. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to close this door. We're going to close this door. And I'm going to turn this up to... Turn it up to four. I believe it was the max was what 5.4 or something like that, but we're at four. Uh, the fan definitely ramps up, and we're gonna we're gonna leave it like this on setting number four with the door closed. I'm gonna set my timer. I'm gonna set my timer here for 30 minutes. And uh, we'll see what happens. So I'll be back in 30 minutes. All right, after th after 30 minutes, um, let's see. Temperature's up to right around 50 degrees. So we've gone up, uh, let's see, we've gone up six degrees. We got good heat coming out of here. And I, I think it's a win here. Um, I could try to, yeah, let me try pumping it up. <clears throat> Let's see, we'll pump it up to, let's go to 4.5. Go 4.5. And we'll see what happens in, uh, in another 30 minutes. But I think this is a win. Be back in 30 minutes. All right, it's been another 30 minutes. The heater's still cranking along. It's comfortable out here. Uh, temperature, like 50, we'll call it 52. And uh, it's pretty comfortable out here, actually. And it's only going up. And that's remember, that's not on the high setting yet. So let's go back. Uh, let's go out to the tool room area. And I got a thermometer out here. And out here, you can see it's uh, 30... Trying to get that to focus for you. It's like 38 degrees out here. So, 52, 42, 14 degree difference. Feels warmer than that though, but um, yeah. So I bought this thing to heat this garage uh, while I'm out here, uh, take the chill off. And uh, it's not a, very well insulated garage but uh, I think it's going to do the trick for me so if you're looking for a little heater to heat up a little space this one might do the trick for you so I'm going to leave this running uh, the rest of the day and it's only going to get warmer um, but we're going to call it a win uh, for now <laughs> and uh, I'll let you know if I have any problems with it but uh, yeah works for me it might work for you thanks for watching